Uh, we've done really good on creating awareness and, and advertising audiences, you know, for Facebook and Twitter. But the same <coughs> analytics that show the impact of a website can be measured whether a girl got into school, whether a girl had access to vaccinations so she could have a healthy life. The same phone that tweets and, and texts can also measure whether that girl got access to the resources that we were supposed to fund so she would receive, whether it be Chicago or it be, you know, Lagos. So I feel like the, the part of the digital divide conversation that's not taking place, that needs to take place, is the analytics and the proof of impact results of the NGO development and, frankly, world. And, and, and everything that could be measured on a phone that, that isn't could be changed if we just focused more on how we prove our impact because we see attendance is increasing with the phones as they travel through the day. That they got access to those resources or in a refugee camp even got the rationing through the phone. The issue of phones is going to go away in the next five to seven years. Phones are already going to be at $15 cost of goods next year in some marketplaces. Some phones will be disposable. And the access to high the issue of the cost of phones. That's right. And the other issue of smartphones, it takes away, this can be done in feature phones. In some cases, it's been done in feature phones since 2003, 2004. So we need to shine a light on, okay, that tweet, that viewing of that content, what did that person do next? And did we honor them as they walked through their day, going to school, getting access to food, or whatever need they have? And let's hold those organizations responsible so that we create a yelp of social investment so that the people in need, the recipient, are actually the one evaluating the organization. And, you know, like, like a bit of like open table, but from a development perspective, beyond the Yelp review, whether they are actually getting the food, 